Okay, hi, my name is Brian and today I'm going to show you how to, how to put together a UV filter. If you're curious about the design, I have another video that talks about how to design a UV filter and what the critical specs are, as well as some shortcuts to determine what will work best for your tank. Now, there are commercial units out there on the market. I don't like the way a lot of them are designed and I think they're way overpriced for what they are. So, I'm going to be using some PVC components. Ball, uh, some standard 36 watt UV bulbs. You can purchase these on eBay for about $10 a piece. Um, and I will be using a ballast that I, supply, I got on eBay for about six, seven dollars, as well as some um, sockets that fit these bulbs. Those sockets are a couple dollars a piece plus shipping. So my total project will cost me about seventy dollars. And this will fit well in my form factor for my system as well as help me control my operational costs. Um, later on in the video I'll show you how to modify these plugs to work as a bulb holder. Essentially works like that. This will sit inside here and hold my bulb down. There will be a piece of pipe and then this will look something like that and there will be a mirror set on the upside of the U and uh, that's how this is going to work. So what I'm going to do today is work on assembling this. So the first thing I need to do is measure what I call the stick out. How far down does this thing go? So this is 14 and a half inches and if we insert this into here lay it like this. We'll measure this again. And this time we're measuring from the inside edge down. So it sticks out about a foot from here to here. So then we're going to go, hmm, how far do we want this to go? So I could use two 12 inch pieces of uh, pipe, but I think I might be able to make it a little smaller than that. two 12 inch pieces of pipe. I'm going to cut those and I'll be right back. Now I decided to cut these slightly different lengths and there's a reason behind this. I want the water to flow through here up and out and water only flows to a lower point unless you put it under pressure. So what I've done is set this up so that one side will be taller than the other and I recommend doing that. So I'll go ahead and assemble this. Now I'm just using normal PVC glue. I'm using clear primer along with clear heavy duty cement and this helps make my plumbing look just a little bit neater. Purple stuff works just fine. It just tends to run all over the place and uh, so when this runs all over it doesn't stain anything. And uh, you know some people don't think is necessary. This just chemically cleans the pipe and ensures that you get a good bond by removing any oils or greases or surface contaminants. I recommend always cap these firmly. One of the things I like about this particular adhesive is it is a little bit thicker so um, it doesn't tend to run all over the place and it gives a good bond. I always recommend that you insert and twist at the same time. This ensures that if you've got any little areas where you've missed a little bit of cement that you'll get a good uh, bond and it will seal any bubbles. At this stage you do need to pay attention to um, which way your fittings will insert. Um, in my case uh, this is deliberate. I want it at approximately a 90 degree angle. So this is half of my PVC joint. Okay so one of the things I I uh, wanted was a way to know if the UV light is on without looking directly at it. So what I've done is I've obtained a piece of regular glass tubing, or it's actually a little stick of glass. It's made as a stir 
but uh, glass does not transmit UV light. Quartz glass does, but regular glass doesn't. So um, first thing you need to do, well, take that back. I'm going to use a piece of this as a viewing window. So um, first thing you need to do is figure out how thick this is, and the easiest way to do that is with a gauge. So this is 9 64ths, and then I will find a drill bit, in this case 5 seconds, just a little bit bigger, that'll work just fine for that. So next thing I need to do is trim my piece of glass. And the way you trim a piece of glass is with a file. You can go ahead and make just a little mark here. All right. And then I'll be able to just snap the glass. Always snap it away from you in case it doesn't snap where you want. In this case, it snapped exactly where I wanted. So next what I need to do is polish the end of it because right now it's going to be fairly sharp. A uh, regular propane torch will do a just a great job of this. It will um, melt the end of the glass. Good enough. And uh, then you can use any water source. In this case, I've got a barrel of water sitting here, so that'll do just fine. Still going to be a little bit on the warm side. So once I've done that, I'll use my drill to uh, put a hole in the pipe where I want the indicator to be. Right here looks just fine, right underneath this peak. And the idea is that this will, the UV light will flow through the glass, but I won't see any of the harmful part of the light. So the easiest way to insert this is with a little bit of silicone. So essentially what you do is you fill the hole with silicone and then you just stick this through there. And uh, part of the reason you fill the hole with silicone is that the glass rod's probably not going to go all the way through, but it, what it will do is make sure that you've sealed the, the hole that's in the pipe. In this particular case, if you can't see in here, but the glass rod does not go through. So what I'm left with is a little tiny dot that will light up when there's light behind it. So I will uh, go ahead and show this with a light so you can see what's going on. And you can see here very clearly that there's a light behind this glass tube that uh, my little glass my little glass splinter lights up quite brilliantly and shows me there's light inside this tube. Okay, so I'm uh, I have assembled the majority of this, and uh, <clears throat> you can see the water will enter here, go down, go through here, and come out this part. I'm about to install the second sight glass. Okay, I have created my little stub of glass, which you can see here. And I flame polished both sides. So what I'll do is insert this into the hole where I want it. And then just smooth it over with uh, some silicone. And it's always good to smooth over the inside as well. This one's not quite as perfect as the other one, but it'll work. It, it sticks out a quarter, an eighth of an inch inside the pipe. Still fine. So uh, at this point, 
what will happen is I need to do some electrical wiring and um, these will be inserted into here. There's one there and I'll set that there for a second and grab the other one. I got my second bulb here and you get one bulb there, one bulb here and voila. So uh, fairly straightforward, fairly simple. Now all I have to do is power this and uh, I'll show you that part in just a second. 